you might have noticed a lot more police around Trump Tower this week. Joni is live this morning to explain what's happening there. It may involve a guest at that building. Joni, good morning. It just might. It was a quiet night overnight, but we do. We have a lot of police uh, squad cars out here, some uh, streets and sanitation trucks um, blocking Trump Tower. And Wabash Avenue is closed, by the way, uh, to traffic, though pedestrians can cross it. Um, the former president, Mr. Trump, is in Chicago between two campaign stops, and so Chicago has increased the security for the former president. Mr. Trump had a campaign stop in Michigan yesterday at the Detroit Economic Club, and after that he flew into O'Hare. His motorcade traveled downtown to his signature hotel. Authorities set up a security perimeter on streets near the Chicago River and on Kinsey, blocking the loading dock of the residential and hotel high-rise. Streets and sanitation trucks are parked to block access on some lower streets in River North, and extra security agents are checking identification. This level of security seems to be standard after two assassination attempts on the former president. And this week, here in Chicago, an Ohio man was arrested for having a collection of guns and ammunition on this property. It did not appear that that was related to Trump himself. Trump is scheduled for a stop in Colorado today. But he'll be back next week. He is addressing the Economic Club of Chicago. Uh, J.D. Vance is also going to be in town. He's going to be in the suburbs. And uh, there is going to be extra security here because some protests are planned for the return of Donald Trump. Reporting live, I'm Joni Lum. Back to you.